Okay, so we have an interesting uh, question here. And it says, it's under density. It says, a solid floats in water with 3 over 4 of its volume below the surface of the water. Calculate the density of the solid. So I gave a pictorial view of, a pictorial interpretation of the question. So I have the solid here while in air. This is solid in air solid in air and here I have the solid in water so here I have solid in water so according to the question so it says 3 over 4 of its volume below the surface of the water calculate the density of the solid so of course we know that for this solid the density let me use a different color here to make it so here the density of this solid will be equal to its mass divided by its volume and of course just looking at the solid here we know that we we can actually see the overall volume even if it's not regular at least we should be able to get the volume and get the mass and then we divide and get the density of the solid but in this case it'd be very hard to get the volume and the mass so how do we get the density of the solid well we have another information here since we know that from this particular question that the solid is being immersed in water but we said only 3 over 4 of its volume is below the surface of the water and as you can see from this picture here we have some other parts outside the water surface and we have some other parts inside the water and this part inside the water is 3 over 4 of the overall volume so since the one inside is 3 over 4 of the overall volume we could first of all think of how to get the density of the liquid that density of water it will help us in this question so we know that the density of water the density of water here is also equal to mass over volume but in this case this mass will be the mass of the liquid displaced if you check well this is the water level before the solid was placed in the water and then after the solid solid was now placed into the water the water level rose up to this part so this is the displaced water so the mass of this particular displaced water is what we're going to fix here and the volume here will be the volume of the portion of the solid in the water and they said the volume inside the water is 3 over 4 of the overall volume so that's what we're fixing here don't forget this mass is the mass of the liquid displaced I told you water level was here later it moved over, over to this side and then you have to get the mass of that increased water or that or that displaced water and you fix here and then the volume here will be the volume of the solid that you can see inside the water you fix here then if you divide you definitely get the density of the liquid which is water but of course there's no need to stress ourselves we already know that density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cube so i'm writing that one out 1000 kilograms per meter cubes equals to this mass that we don't know divided by the volume in the water is 3 over 4 of the overall volume here so I'm doing 3 over 4 of of this V here so that's 3 over 4 of of course in mathematics we can use that as multiplication of v so if you now multiply you can put this v over one and then you do three v times um, three times v you have three v you have three v over four so this is the particular volume in the water surface i'm replacing this v here with three over three v over four so i'll write that one out 
I have three V over four as my volume. Three V over four. Don't forget that this volume here is now replaced with this whole value here. So what I'll try to do is here is this. Since it said the solid floats, it means the mass of the liquid displaced here is equal to the mass of the overall solid. Because if a solid floats in a liquid, the solid will displace its own weight according to Archimedes principle. So that means this mass here is exactly equal to this mass here. So what I'll try to do is to make this mass the subject of the formula and substitute it into this particular equation to get the value of the density of the solid. So that's it. So I'll cross multiply here. I can put this over one and then I'll cross multiply. I will have m times one is m equals three over four v, three v over four times 1000 gives me what gives me i think it'll be 750 let me do a rough calculation here 3v over 4 times 1000 so 4 in 1000 is 250 and 250 times 3 is 750v okay so that's it so after when cross multiplying i did m times 1 i got m then 1000 times 3v over 4 gives me 750v so i can now substitute this value of m into this one because they are the same. Remember why they are the same? Because the object floats. Any object that floats displaces its own uh, weight. So if it displaces its own weight, and this is the value of the mass of the liquid displaced, and it's displacing its own weight, it means this mass and this mass here are the same. The mass of the varus solid and the mass of the liquid displaced are the same. So that's why I'm making this one the subject and substituting the value into this other formula here for the density of the solid. So we know that D, density of the solid equals to the mass of the solid over the overall volume. I'm talking about, I'm here now, I'm solving this one. Then I can replace the value of this M with this 750V. So I now have density of solid will now be equal to 750V divided by the overall volume. So V cancels out this V, I have density of solid to be 750. So the density of the solid will now be 750 kilograms per meter cubes. So very simple. So that's it.